Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live right now from the Ukrainian home in Hartford. Matthew, uh, when could we actually see a first round of refugees? Yeah, Mark and Caitlin, it could be a matter of months, and that's coming directly from those involved in organizing these efforts. Now, that's also not to say that some refugees aren't already here in Connecticut. We have seen some trickle in, but for this report, we're just focusing on the big wave that is expected again in the coming months. So here's where we stand right now in Connecticut. We have organizations like IRIS in Hartford and New Haven that specialize in resettling refugees. Now, most recently, they've taken in hundreds from Afghanistan and Syria. They say Ukraine is going to be a little different because it's not going to be rushed like it was for Afghanistan. And it appears in some cases, refugees may be more likely to move to a state where they already have relatives. What portion of those 100,000 have relatives in Connecticut and want to come to their relatives in Connecticut? They might have relatives in Kentucky and California also. Um, but how many want to come to Connecticut? That would be sort of the starting point. All right, so those intangibles, that makes it hard for organizations to really provide accurate estimates of how many people we could see. But again, they are expecting it to take two months before the wave of people start to come in. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to take you into the process, show you what needs to be done before refugees can come to the U.S. That at 6. But for now, that's the latest live here in Hartford. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. All right, and weather-wise, we